All right, I drove two hours to Tampa, made up Mike. He's already at the hotel. <laughs> this fool. What the hell is this? What is that? Oh, yo, it's stuck on my finger. It's stuck on my finger. Shoot. What is that? Let me see that. Oop. Let me see that stuff. Take this off. <laughs> You're gonna grab my finger again. <laughs> Dang. So this is the face of a man who left the main camera home. <laughs> uh, hey, this is a good camera. Yeah, it's a good camera. It's a good camera. But I can't believe I left the main camera. But that's what we're gonna be filming off with anyway. So go, bro. You go, bro. <laughs> I hate walking barefooted, bro. Like, they're telling me we have to do this barefooted. I don't like walking barefooted. I mean, I, I actually wore these big old shoes, waterproof shoes that I usually use when I go oystering. And they're telling me to take it off. Well, and I'm like, do you want the fish to survive? Because they're just going to be floating up dude, to the top. Dude, you're not a bear, though. Like, how are you going to go barefoot? Yeah. You're going to have to go ricky-footed. But I don't want to go ricky-footed. Yeah, footed. you got to go ricky-footed. I don't want to go ricky-footed. Come on, man. Let's go. Dang it. <laughs> Ricky's already about to dude, drown with them boots on. Dump one out. Dump it out. Look at him. He's already drowning anyways. What are you talking about? <laughs> like so, I, I I can't feel it with the boots. Of, no, you're not gonna feel it. Like you like, have to feel it with your foot. Like, you like stick your are foot. they they're in the ground? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So you're saying they're they're. So I gotta like stick your foot in there. And like, is there like grass out there? No, no, it's the same. All right. So what we got? We got our bucket, and um, we're fixing so it's to all get sand. It. It's it's sand. Okay. Okay, okay. So there's no 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 like seaweed or anything <laughs> disgusting. I don't know. Okay. All right. So like, there's crabs out there too though, right? Well, we don't know that until we get one in the trap. What about the sharks? No sharks. This is shark free zone. <laughs> you know, there's three sharks on it. Yeah. Oh, I heard that if there's salt, there's a shark. <laughs> you got sharks on your kitchen table? <laughs> He's got sharks on his kitchen table. So that is a small section, like a small piece of the clam shells that we're actually looking for. Well, we're not looking for shells. We're looking for whole clams. But. Yeah, but that's like a quarter of it. And this yeah. is about the size of a clam that I'm normally seeing. Yeah. And this is a quarter of its size. Okay, I'm a little excited. Not excited about going barefooted though, but like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but like... What? Like, <laughs> it's... Why? You said that it was sandy. It is. Go There's a lot of sharp things touching my feet right now. Come on. Come There's on. sharp things touching. Oh! And it's near trees. You know what's in trees? Snakes. Like this. This is. There ain't no snakes here. Come on. There is. What? What do you mean there ain't no snakes? Mike, how many times we've been out in the woods and we came to see? I almost got bit by a rattlesnake. Last time you said. I'm about to there drown was no you. Snakes. There was like a 12 foot long rattlesnake. Yeah. No, it don't make me feel any better. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I stepped on a stick. Oh, that was that, nice. That one was very down. That was nice. Right. It oh, was yeah. Yo. Up, feeling right. Right now, I don't really feel plus ultra. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're like diesel or. <laughs> Yeah. Ethanol. <laughs> so here is the shell from one of these. I actually found the full shell. So far we haven't found the clam yet, but we're working on it. We're still working on it. Come a little, come a little closer. Oh! Are you a clam here? Are you a clam? Mm -hmm. No, you're a half. Half. What do you got, Devin? What do you got? Ah, that's not that little. I mean, that's like ma massive for a regular size clam. <laughs> you want to hold one, Ricky? 
<laughs> I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. I'm feeling a little, a little clammy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay. This is how you keep yourself safe from the coronavirus while clamming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, we're good. Oh, Let's go this way. Oh, six feet. Six feet. Oh, six feet. Stay back. Six feet. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> it was like he was not budging. Holy crap! Was that that hard for you? No, you know, he was like. Yeah, some of them are deep. Yeah, yeah like this one, I, like this, I'm like this. Ah, ah. So I started thinking around it. Ah. He was like, he was underwater for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was wow, dude, I was like, is I'm gonna have to come back up for air? That's a big one. That's four. Yeah, look at that. Booyah, four big clams. Okay. All right, go down. Yeah, it's right under my toes. Dude, I thought it was a good one, too. You had your hand on it. I know. Right. Did you it's, get it? It's right under. It's stuck. No, not under, not under, right in front there's of it. Yo, there's a lot over here, I think. No, that's what I'm saying. There used to be, over there, it used to be every foot you find one. The further we get around, it's probably going to be alive. Got it? Oh, God. But ideally, it'd be nice to go back. Oh, it's alive? Yeah. <laughs> there's five. There's number five. Dig around right there. Okay, I thought I'd just cut another one. Here we go. Here we go. Going down. I'm going to try to get another one. I think, it's, I think I got one under my foot. Big for that one. <laughs> Dang, that was fat. You had a dig for that one. <laughs> yeah. I know he was hard to get out. Like super hard. Did Did you see any of those? Or, I, I, I couldn't tell. The camera did. Yeah. Oh wow. So we're we're out here like a pretty good ways, and we did leave our fishing poles out, and now where we left our fishing poles, there's like a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people with kayaks over there, so we kind of got to get back to make sure nobody steals our poles because we got two pretty expensive poles just kind of sitting up in the bushes there. So, we get these clams so massive, yeah. massive clams. So we got the clams. We're gonna take these things home and we're gonna find some kind of recipe and cook them up because right now the only thing we got on the top of our heads is clam chowder. So I got some ideas though. So we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, let's get to it. So you've seen how we forage for the clams, now you're gonna see how we're gonna eat these suckers. So we got an idea. This is one already open. And what kind of idea came from this item? Well, this does sort of look like a pot, right? Pot, sort of. Yeah, and, and I had some uh, pie crust that I made. I mean, actually, this really doesn't look like a pot at all. It looks but, like a clam shell. <laughs> but it looks like clams, so we're gonna make a clam Clam shell pie. pie. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a clam shell pie. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is um, potatoes is gonna be like a part of this recipe. So we need to get them boiling first so they can go ahead and start, you know, because they're gonna take the longest. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dice this up mm -hmm. using my sushi knife. I wanna try to get this done really quickly. So I'm gonna do it really small. Uh, Do you want these small, small pieces or big pieces? Um, let's do it small. It's got, it got to go on the shelf. So, that's nice and up pretty good. Alright, I'm not really good at this, so... Oh, 
on the house chef to do this without cutting the fingers off. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're totally knowing what we're doing because we Googled it. Yeah. We Googled it. But we're the first clam pot pie recipe that I, that I can yeah, think of. Yeah, with massive clam, so beat that. Yeah, beat, beat that, YouTube. <laughs> so to save time and from all this chopping, we went ahead and bought peas and carrots already cut. So we're just gonna add this to it. And I think that's enough, Mike. Okay. Um, so I just hit, yeah, just finish that and you're good. Right all right. Yeah. What's that smell? Yo, what's that smell? Oh, oh my God, you got me to pull water, Mike? You got fire. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't have a tall soup pot. I'm gonna use this. We're just two men trying to do our best to make something good. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> We need a, oh! <laughs> you might want to watch that, who knows where my head's been. <laughs> so right here, we got a massive, massive coho. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator for at least a day, and it opens them up a little bit, so it's easier for your knife to get through. So, okay, from my experience, that there's two muscles, like one right around here, and one right here. So I'm gonna cut right through the muscles now that it's kind of like slightly open a little bit. We're gonna get this knife. Yay! Water inside it. How can you just water inside it? Yes, yes, there is. We're gonna get this one. We're gonna get the okay. we're gonna get that ball out, right? Yeah, we gotta get the meat out. Yeah, the ball is the meat. Oh yeah. see that? What is that? The ball. That's not the ball. There's no pearl in there this time. Smile. Oh, let me see. Let me see. You want to eat it like that? Uh, hey. No, no, Smile. No. You're on Clambra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to take that right there. That's not the only parts. I'm going to use a spoon to get the rest. You wanna... This is already cooked. This one is already cooked, right, Poppy? Well, oh, that's clam juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's plenty. So it's gonna add that to me. There you go. I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna eat this part, but hey, why not? We're, I mean, yeah, you're gonna just, just throw it in there anyway. It just adds more meat to it. It looks like a lot of meat is in there. I'm not gonna eat the bowels, though. That looks, look at that. I don't know what that is. That looks like doo doo. <laughs> yeah, just get the doo doo out. Let's not have doo doo. Yeah, I don't want doo doo in there. These so. are big clams, so that would be like a lot of doo doo. I'm giving this like a rough chop right now. Wait, can into the pot we go. One stick of butter. So I got the onions in there. But what I'm trying to do is just to get them soft, you know? I don't want them like. Because again, we're not going to be baking them too long. We just want to get them nice and soft so when we, uh, um, that way it's got a head start. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put flour into the onions and butter mix that we've got here. That was the whole stick of butter, right? Yep, a whole stick. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I love my butter. Mm. Stir it up. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Now while that's going. It got kind of thick and it's probably too, we need, yeah, we definitely need that. Yeah. Hurry up. Hurry so up, while it's going, for it, for it burns. we're just gonna slow it, mix it up while you stir it. So as he's stirring it, we're gonna do this to try to prevent from, from it clump, from clumping up. Okay. Just keep it going. We're just knocking out all the clumps from it. And we're using one can of chicken broth, which is about two cups. Nice. There you go. Nice and clumpy. Nice. Smooth. Okay, yeah, yeah unclumpy. <laughs> Let's see what the rest is. Let's go ahead. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we need that whole no, bag. No, we don't need the whole bag. I'm putting about a cup in. That's a That's about it. Yeah. Tighter tops. The taters go in there. Nice and soft, but let's be careful not to swish them. Yeah, I'm just stirring. Just stirring? Just stirring, not crunching. Not cream. Cream. Of cream of tartar. One cup. One of this is equal one cup. Okay. And this is our random ingredient, uh, cheese. 
Because we tease everything out. <laughs> I'm like 60% rat, so you never can go wrong with cheese. Show the rat teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's, okay. what's next? What's next? Last but not least. That's really kind of rocky. And there we go. We're just going to reduce it anyway. Mm -hmm. Put the clams in there. That's Clam pot pie on the making. Clam pot pie. Yeah. This, is, this, this recipe feels clammy. Yeah. You have you have never had clam pot pie. I'll tell you that right now. At least not. Unless you, you've had it. And then if you had it, then... You made it. Then you made it. Oh, like we are. Okay. Okay, so neither one of us actually know like exactly how to use thyme. Time or time, time. So I'm just gonna like kind of crunch some in there with my fingers. So I, I'm gonna fish out the twig. I'm not gonna twig. get twigs. I'm just. Oh, I'm just doing I see the, what you're doing. The hairy part. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I dropped a twig. Uh, Rick. Rick. Get the twig out. Dude, get the twig out. Shut the twig door. <laughs> All right, right here. It's a con it's a dough recipe. Um, I know you normally use like a pastry crust, but this is what I had, you know. So I had already made this on a previous re recipe that I was cooking earlier this week. But what it is is half a cup of uh, uh, heavy cream, uh, half a cup of chicken broth, some flour and scallions, and that's it. You bring it to the boil, and then you slowly add the flour until you get this dough consistency. So creamy, which is kind of like what I'm going for with the, the pot pie. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. I got, I floured the, the table a little bit. Let me flour it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's a little board here. Yeah. Here. There you go. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice. Now I'm gonna make it probably as big as the, I wanted to overlap the shell, so. Oh, so we're, we're doing this on the shell, huh? In the shell. Wow. Oh, wow. So, oh. so that's going to be our actual pot. Now look at this fancy roller pin. When you don't have one, you improvise. So I filled this empty bottle of water. I want it kind of flat. Oh, it's actually working good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work, to be honest with you. But hey, it worked. So how do we, we we're going to keep these from spilling out in the oven. Show us what we're doing. Well, we're going to use these, um, whatchamacallits. The, um, what are these callits? Uh, cupcake pans, right? Cupcake pans, yeah. muffin pans gonna keep them from spilling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, because otherwise, if you was to set these on a flat surface, they kind of lean. A little bit. You but might dump out your stuff, so. Nah, you know, that was a great idea, Ricky. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm hoping that the, the pastry will hold it together, but we'll see. We don't know what we're gonna do, so let's, uh. All right, let's get to dumping, these, dumping this stuff in here. Okay. All right. Should we do it one at a time, and then, I mean, you can only do one at a time. Um, no, like, and put the breading on? Yes. One. So I don't spill over? I don't think it's gonna spill. Okay. Well, it took a whole ladle. You don't try That's how big the clams, that's how big the clams were. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna fill it up that much this Yeah, because that's kind of hard. It might bubble out or something. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Probably. See the potatoes, what they did. When that potato fell, mm -hmm. that's yeah. what happened. Alright, Boom. Alright, so right now, Bang, B bang! So we gotta go ahead and start covering these. Yeah. Bad boys. I want to pinch it. I want to pinch it. I want to do the pinching part. Okay, he does the pinching part. I do the creating part. Okay. So uh, I always notice, like on pot pies, they pinch the sides. Yes. This is not a pastry crust, so it's not gonna look like a typical pot pie, but hey, we're gonna go for it. Yes, you can slide that out. Woo! Here we go. Turn that bad boy off. Turn this off too. Put it right on this. Right there. Just 
place is so nice. So romantic, you know, like got the vegetables here and look at the candlelight. Mmm. Now wondering is if this is gonna be good. Yeah, this is like a five hundred dollar meal, so <laughs> let's see. Alright. Right, okay, so it's a little crust, so it's crusty, so I was a little worried about the crust if that was gonna play out. Look at that. I busted into it. Oh wait, I even got like a good chunk of flame on that too. Yo. Hey. I don't want to burn my mouth. It is so good. Mm. Let me see the inside of it. Mm. Yo, this this is really good. I don't know if you guys... The smell... This actually tastes like a biscuit that's supposed to go with the clam. So I don't know if I would change the crust. I would keep the crust. The, the, the recipe is really easy. Half, um, half chicken broth, half creamer. Add some scallions. Bring it to the bowl and add flour into it's like a doughy consistency. Nothing really special about it, man. Chicken broth, chicken broth. Whew, hot, hot, hot. Whew. It's really good. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our social media. And never forget to challenge the outdoors. outdoors.